Hello, everyone, and welcome to Battle of the Brains, where Campus White Honors students and UCI faculty and honors alumni will engage in a fast-paced contest to determine trivia supremacy, at least for the year. The theme of tonight's battle is nature. So don't stop and smell the roses because you want to be quick to press that buzzer. My name is Mary, and I'm an advisor for UCI Honors and your MC. I'm delighted you could join us this evening for our most recent experiment, hosting our annual student versus faculty trivia contest, streaming entirely online again this year. Yay. As we continue this experiment, we're going to try out some new things, so please bear with us. But don't worry, in keeping with our theme of nature, this event is still firmly rooted in CHC tradition as well. Those of you who have joined us for Battle of the Brains in the past know that we like to get the audience involved. And tonight is no exception. So thank you to everyone who's already been so active in the chat. Please take a minute to comment now in the live stream at any time, but maybe starting now with where you're watching Battle of the Brains from. So Riverside, Long Beach, Oxnard, Santa Barbara, throw that in the chat right now. And of course, as the audience, you can comment on the live stream at any time, but remember, you don't wanna give away the answer to the opposing team. Awesome. And of course, we're all here to have a good time. So let's all keep things in the spirit of good fun in the chat too, thanks. So now before I get down to the nitty gritty, the rules, allow me to introduce my other question reading team member, honors advisor, Christina, who is also running the whole buzzer system that you'll see a little bit later on. And also you might see Christina if I have any connectivity issues, fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Or maybe, maybe it does and you get to see Christina and that would be awesome. Okay, so the winner of this trivia battle will be determined over three rounds of trivia questions, <clears throat> each lasting 12 minutes. We're going very no frills this year. So Christina or I will read the questions and then contestants will buzz in and wait for me to call on them before answering. They'll get a reasonable amount of time, so about three to five seconds to give their answer. Of course, it's a team effort as usual, so contestants may chat privately with one another or uh, one of their teammates before answering. But again, no more than three to five seconds to answer. And each correct answer is worth 10 points. This year, however, there is no penalty for a wrong answer. So buzz in early and buzz in often. However, if a contestant answers incorrectly, then the opposing team will get the chance to answer. In that case, contestants on the opposing team will still need to be recognized by the question reader. Um, before answering the question. And please note that contestants can buzz in at any time using our digital buzzer. But if they do so before the question has been read in its entirety, then the question will not be completed. But don't worry, the question reader will finish the question or repeat it so that the other team gets a chance to answer. However, the question will only be repeated once. Okay, so let's see a picture of what our virtual buzzer looks like. And this was actually built by one of the honors alumni, Brian Charles. Great job, Brian. Thank you for all your work on this. Okay, and now I would like to introduce our, our students and faculty contestants for round one. Hi, everyone. Contestants, as a reminder, please wait for me to call on you before answering. And please answer in a reasonable amount of time so that we can keep things moving along. Okay, are we all ready? Contestants, please unmute yourselves if possible. All right. <clears throat> and with no further ado and 12 minutes on the clock, let's begin round one. What 1980s sitcom revolved around the lives of four women living in Miami, Florida? Oops. Students, Amy. The Golden Girls? Correct. What's the literal Korean to English translation of K-pop group BTS's name? Oops. Student Zachary. Uh, bulletproof Boy Scouts? Correct. According to legend, who was King Arthur's wife? Uh, 
faculty, Mike. Uh, Guinevere? That's correct. In 2017, who administered the oath of office to then Senator Kamala Harris? Student Sammy. Uh, Diane Feinstein. Incorrect. Faculty. In 2017, who administered the oath of office to then Senator Kamala Harris? Oh. Faculty William. Pence. Michael Pence. Incorrect. The correct answer is Joe Biden. What 1975 movie features the line, you're going to need a bigger boat? Students Zachary. Jaws. Correct. Who played the original Phantom in the musical The Phantom of the Opera that opened in London's West End in Faculty Mike? Michael Crawford. That's correct. In what year did the Anaheim Angels win their first World Series championship? <laughs> Student Sammy. 2002. Correct. What are the three words inscribed on the Infinity Fountain by UCI's Roland Hall that are also the motto of the Campus Wet Honors Collegium? The correct answer is Veritas Via Vitae. Truth is the way of life. What New Ze Zealand-born physicist and chemist is credited with splitting the atom first? Uh, faculty, Mike. I'm Rutherford. Correct. What is the name for the well-known mathematical sequence that starts zero, one, one, two, three, five, faculty, Ted? Uh, the Fibonacci sequence. Correct. What is the process called in which the lawyers and the judge ask potential jurors questions in order to faculty, Ted? Boy, dear. Correct. What is the process called, oops, pardon me, uh, <laughs> Sylvia Plath married what British poet laureate? Uh, faculty Mike. Ed Hughes. Correct. What is the device that blends air and fuel for an internal combustion engine called? <laughs> faculty Ted. Uh, a carburetor. Correct. In 1995, Mars replaced the tan M&M with what color M&M? The correct answer is blue. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. What fictional government organization does the USS Enterprise represent? Blue. Faculty, Karen. Starfleet. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? The correct answer is the United Federation of Planets. How many years did the Hundred Years War last? The correct answer is 116 years. Who is the only actor to appear in all nine films of the Skywalker saga? Faculty, Mike. Mark Hamill. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? Mm -hmm. Student Frank Zachary. Oz. I'm uh, sorry? Frank Oz. Incorrect. The Frank. correct answer is Anthony Daniels. What amendment to the U.S. Constitution deals with protection against unreasonable search and seizure? The correct answer is the Fourth Amendment. What state's southern border is formed by a river of the same name? Faculty, Mike. Arizona. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? Blue. Students, Zachary. Colorado. Colorado. Incorrect. The correct answer is Ohio. What does status code or error code 403 mean on the internet? Blue. Faculty, Ted. Uh, the, the name can't be resolved. Sure, I'll accept that. Forbidden or access denied. Who painted a series of paintings of his own gardens at Giverny with water? Faculty Ted. Monet. Correct. What country and its territories cover the most time zones? 
Faculty, Kieran. Russia. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? <laughs> Students, Sammy. Britain. Incorrect. The correct answer is France. What is the name of the stuffed anteater housed on the first floor of UCI's student center? <laughs> Faculty, Mike. Uh, Peter. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? The correct answer is Mermi. What former British colony known as the Gold Coast is now known as Faculty William? The Agana. Correct. What astronomical distance is about 3.26 light years? Faculty Kieran. A parsec. Correct. What is the common term for an electrochemical cell in which terminals are connected to electrodes emerged? Faculty Kieran. A battery. Correct. How many wives did Henry VIII have? <laughs> Faculty Mike. Six. Correct. Which artistic movement was founded by George Brock and Pablo Picasso? <laughs> Faculty William. Cubism. Correct. In which George Bernard Shaw play are Professor Henry Higgins and Eliza Faculty William? Pygmalion. Correct. In what river near Sutter's Mill did prospectors find gold in Faculty William? Sacramento. Incorrect. Students, in what river near Sutter's Mill did prospectors find gold in 1848? The correct answer is the American River. Which song recounts the 1959 plane crash that took the lives of Buddy Holly students, Zachary? American Pie. Correct. Ray Kroc established what chain of fast faculty, William? God, now I don't know if it's Carl Jr.'s or McDonald's. 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 Okay, Ted, that's, that's correct. Um, the crab is the symbol for what horoscope or astrological sign? Students, Iva. Answer. Correct. In 2009, Sean Penn won an Academy Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of what gay rights activist? <laughs> Faculty, Mike. Uh, Javi Milk. Correct. How many former UCI chancellors have become president of the University of California? <laughs> Faculty, William. Two. Correct. Correct. What were table tennis balls originally made from? The correct answer is corks from wine bottles. What country ceded Florida to the U.S. in 1819? Faculty Mike. Spain. Correct. What was the occupation of the first person to propose the Big Bang origin of the universe? Faculty Kieran. An astronomer. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? <laughs> Students, Iva. Mathematician. Incorrect. The correct answer is priest. What kind of dog does Elle Woods own in the Legally Blonde films? <laughs> Students, Amy. Chihuahua. Correct. Name an electronic musical instrument created in 1928 that is played without physical contact. Students, Zachary. Theremin. That's correct. What California proposition made it illegal for state governments to consider race, sex, or ethnicity in areas of public employment, public contracting, or public education? <laughs> Students, Zachary. Uh, prop. 209. That's correct. Which of King Arthur's nephews had an encounter with the Green Knight? <laughs> Faculty Kieran. Lancelot. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? <laughs> Students, Iva. Gawain. Correct. Which bridge, which marks the gateway to New York Harbor, has been the starting point of the New York City Marathon since 1976? Faculty Ted. Brooklyn Bridge. 
Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? <laughs> Students, Zachary. Uh, George Washington Bridge. Incorrect. The correct answer is the Verrazano Narrows uh, Bridge. What did the Montgolfier brothers invent in 17? Uh, faculty, Mike. Hot air balloon. Correct. What are the first and last names of Lucy Ricardo's best friend from the TV show, I Love Lucy? <laughs> Students, Amy. Mertz's. Or Mertz. Okay, incorrect. Faculty, do you have a guess? What are the first and last names of Lucy Ricardo's best friend? It's Ethel Mertz. Okay, uh, that is correct. Um, what singer was nicknamed the Empress of the Blues? The correct answer is Bessie Smith. Sorry, just a little bit too late. What flower is associated with the Netherlands? Faculty Mike. Julep. Correct. How many edges do it does a US stop sign have? <laughs> Faculty William. Eight. Correct. Um, who who defined I'm sorry, was that time? No, I just hear yes, things. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Whew. All right. Everyone take a second to catch your breath. I know I will. Um I would uh, like to invite everyone to join me in taking a quick break while we tally up the scores and catch our breath. Um, please, in the meantime, take a minute to share some of your favorite nature walks with us in the chat and to catch up with each other or maybe even test your own trivia knowledge. See you again in four minutes.
Welcome back, everyone. It's been great to see all of your favorite places and all of your other conversations happening in the chat. Just confirming that our current score is students 100, faculty and alumni 230. Congratulations to both teams for strong performances in round one. Let's give everyone a round of applause. Okay, and now I would like to introduce the new saplings in our forest. That's right, our students and alumni contestants for round two. Contestants, as a reminder, please wait for me to call on you before answering and please answer in a reasonable amount of time so that we can keep things moving. All right, and feel free contestants to please unmute yourselves now so that we can get ready to begin. All right, are you ready, fronds and ferns? All right, so let's put 12 minutes on the clock and let's go. In its natural form, aspirin comes from the bark of what tree? Alumni Becky. Uh, the willow tree. Correct. In what novel does Edward Fairfax Rochester play a significant student's Emily? Jane Eyre. Correct. Introduced in 1975, what sizzling candy ran full page advertisements assuring parents that it didn't make your stomach ache? Students, Jaime. Uh, Pop Rocks. Correct. What is the largest city in India? Students, Emily. Dubai. Correct. I'm sorry, Emily, can you repeat yourself? It was Dubai, right? Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Oh, I misheard you. <laughs> <laughs> Alumni, do you have a guess? Yes, Michael. Delhi. Incorrect. The correct answer is Mumbai. Mumbai. In the 2012 Avengers movie, um, it was directed by the same man who co-wrote the screenplay for what? Uh, oh, students, Jacob. Sorry, I thought I was going to ask who you were. Uh, Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon. Yeah, I just Sweden. Okay, students, that's correct. Right. What musical term means to play a piece of music lively and fast? Uh, students, I'm sorry, alumni, Michael. I need an answer. Allegretto? Incorrect. Uh, students, Jaime. Staccato. Incorrect. The correct answer is Allegro. What are the three weapons used in fencing? Uh, Alumni, Michael. Rapier, epee, saber. Incorrect. Students, oh. do you have a guess? Jaime. Uh, saber, epee, and foil. Correct. What are baby anteaters called? Uh, Students, Jaime. Ants eater eat those? The incorrect. Faculty and alumni, do you have a guess? Maybe pups? Becky, uh, that is correct. What is the first animal known to be capable of a surviving exposure to outer space? <laughs> Students, Jacob. Water grades or water bears. Uh, that is correct. In trigonometry, what is calculated by dividing adjacent by hypotenuse? <laughs> Alumni, Brian. The cosine. Correct. What are the three branches of the U.S. federal government? <laughs> Alumni, Jacob. Uh, the legislative, the judicial, and the executive. Correct. What is the name of the protagonist in the Hunger Games trilogy? <laughs> Students, Emily. Katniss Everdeen. Correct. Who is the first and only person to receive a Nobel Prize in two different sciences? Alumni, Jacob. Marie Curie. That's correct. Sometimes referred to as horse, what addictive drug was once sold by Bear as cough syrup? <laughs> Alumni, Becky. Cocaine. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? Uh, can you repeat the question? Sometimes referred to as horse, what addictive drug was once sold by Bear as cough syrup? Heroin? Students, 
Uh, yes, heroin is correct. Who is the lead singer of the alternative rock band Coldplay? Fac alumni, Becky. Is it Chris Martin? Correct. Okay. Lizzo is a famous pop artist who often plays her flute during concerts. What is the name of her flute? Mm. Students, Jacob. Piccolo? Incorrect. Alumni, do you have a guess? The flute's name is Sasha Flute. In 1952, Richard Nixon played upon voter sympathy by mentioning his dog in a speech. Name this famous canine. Mm -hmm. Students, Iva. Checkers. Checkers is correct. What was the first Pixar movie to receive a PG rating within the US? Mm -hmm. Students, Jaime. Uh, Toy Story. Incorrect. Alumni, do you have a guess? Mm -hmm. Alumni, Jacob. Monsters, Inc.? Incorrect. The correct answer is The Incredibles. Mm. In forensic phrenology, scientists examine what part of the subject? Alumni, Becky. The school. Correct. As of December 31st, 1999, what country owns the Panama Canal? Mm. Alumni, Brian. Panama. Correct. Fans of the sci-fi series Star Trek celebrate First Contact Day on which day of the year? The correct answer is April 5th. Sorry, just a little too late. In what country is the world's oldest golf course located? Uh, Alumni Michael. I need an answer. Scotland. Correct. What artistic movement began around 1920 and sought to exhibit the inner workings of the unconscious mind through imagery? Mm -hmm. Students, Jacob. The realism? Correct. What Central European country still uses the forint as its currency despite being a member of the EU? The correct answer is Hungary. Paul Mirage, namesake of UCI's business school, is credited with the invention of what students, Jaime? Hot pockets. Correct, the hot pocket microwave sleeve. The short story, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, was written by which Jazz Age author? <laughs> Alumni Becky. Didn't F. Scott Fitzgerald? That is correct. What was the last province to join Canada in 1949? <laughs> Students, Jaime. I need an British answer. Columbia? Incorrect. Alumni, do you have a guess? Alumni, Brian. Yukon Territory? Incorrect. Uh, the last province to join Canada was Newfoundland. Who discovered penicillin in 1928? Alumni, Brian. Alexander Fleming. Correct. In 1997, the USS Yorktown was paralyzed when its computer tried to divide a number by what other number? Alumni, Becky. Zero. Correct. Which US president served as the first Supreme Allied Commander in Europe during World War II? Yeah. Alumni, Jacob. Eisenhower? Correct. Who painted the Mona Lisa and the last uh, alumni? Becky. Leonardo da Vinci. Correct. Who is the only US president to be buried in Washington, DC? Uh, Students, Jaime. Washington? Incorrect. Alumni, do you have a guess? The correct answer is Woodrow Wilson. Santiago is the capital of what country? Oh. Students, Jaime. Chile. That's correct. What is Lady Gaga's given name? Oh. Students, Emily. Stephanie something or another. <laughs> <laughs> That's half of it. <laughs> All right, uh, fact, alumni, do you have a guess? Oh gosh, it's like Giannata or something like that. Okay, the correct answer is Stephanie Germanata. Okay. Oh. Which 
which meringue dessert takes its name from a Russian ballerina? Alumni Becky. Uh, the Pavlova. Correct. In the movie Groundhog Day, what song plays on the alarm clock every morning? <laughs> Alumni Brian. I got you, babe. Correct. What is the name of the event held every Friday by the Campus Wed Honors Student uh, Council? Students, Jaime. Uh, yeah. Correct. What film was the first non-English movie and first South Korean film uh, to win Students, Jaime? Parasite. Correct. What is the name of the rocket that powered the Apollo missions? Alumni Jacob. Saturn V. Correct. Who appeared in more than 30 Alfred Hitchcock films? Alumni Jacob. Alfred Hitchcock. Correct. <laughs> Who was the youngest Beatle? One in four oh. chance here. Alumni Jacob. Ringo. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? Three in four here. Or I guess one in three. Bad math. Lennon? Incorrect. Lennon's, Lennon and Ringo are the oldest. The youngest Beatle is George Harrison. What court case established the power of judicial review? <laughs> Students, Jaime. Um, what's it called? Um, I need an Marshall answer. v. Madison? Marshall v. Madison is incorrect. Um, Alumni, do you have a guess? Uh, Brian? Alumni. Marbury versus Madison. Marbury versus Madison is correct. What seabird undertakes the longest regular migration? Students, Jacob. Arctic tern. Correct. Who was Henry VIII's widow? Mm -hmm. Students, Emily. Mm, I was going to say Catherine, but I don't think that's. Sorry. Okay. Uh, alumni, do you have a guess? And? Okay, alumni Michael. Or, sorry, Be Becky, you're gonna say? Oh no, no, it's it's all right. I, I I was thinking Anne of Cleves, but I'm not sure if he eventually got rid of her. I need an answer. Anne of Cleves. Incorrect. We needed the full name, Emily. It was Catherine Parr. Uh. Who is Miley Cyrus's godmother? <laughs> Students, Emily. Dolly Parton. That's correct. In 1932. Pasquale Olivieri is credited with inventing the cheesesteak sandwich in what city? <laughs> Students, Jaime. Philadelphia. That's correct. In darts, what is the highest score possible with three darts? <laughs> Students, Jaime. 180. That's correct. Three triple tens. What medicinal, I'm sorry, what medical imaging? <laughs> <laughs> that is it for that round. Yes, my my answer said three triple, triple ten time. I thank you for correcting. It's three triple twenties. That's the highest score possible with three darts, most likely. All right, very well done, contestants. Let's give everyone a round of applause. Oh my goodness, such a great job. Good job, y'all. All right, so now let's all pull a winter plant and go dormant. Feel free to share your favorite plant or flower with us in the chat. Mine is some flowers I saw on Saturday at a my nephew's baseball game that I'd never seen before. So anyway, um, follow me on Instagram to see the picture of that. Just kidding. Back in four minutes with the final round. Thanks, everyone.
Hello again. Welcome back to round three. Our score is students 270 and faculty alumni 420. Well done, faculty alumni. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, and now I would like to introduce our budding contestant participants and <clears throat> remind everyone that um, before you answer and after you buzz in, please wait for me to call on you. So I will say students or faculty and then your name. And please answer in a reasonable amount of time so that we can all keep things moving along to victory. I think we're really in for a treat in this final round, the home stretch. Um, so I think that that brings us, uh, without much further ado, to our final round. So contestants, I would like to invite you to unmute yourself and get ready, set, 12 minutes on the clock, let's go. All right, who lives at 221 B Baker? Students, Sherlock Holmes. Christina. Oh, Sorry, Christina? Uh, Sherlock Holmes. That is correct. <laughs> who painted the Sistine Chapel? <laughs> Faculty, Supreme Overlord Kang? <laughs> Michelangelo. That is correct. Also known as Kyle Stanford. In The Good Place, what philosophy book features prominently, including Eleanor tearing out a piece from it? Faculty, Kyle. Uh, I'm trying my little chat here. I need an answer. Okay. Is it what we owe each other? That is correct. Yeah. Okay. What anniversary did Pokemon celebrate this year, 2021? Uh, Faculty Kaylin. Their 20th. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? Uh, Christina, students. Uh, 75th. Oh, incorrect. Wait, the, correct answer is, <laughs> the correct answer is 25. What is Beethoven's first name? Uh, Faculty Jim. Uh, Ludwig. Correct. What non-negative number doesn't have its own Roman numeral signifier? Uh, uh, Faculty, Kyle. Uh, I believe that would be zero. Correct. In the movie Tenant, what is the job of the protagonist? The correct answer is CIA agent. Sorry, a little slow. In music, how many pitches are played or arranged in a chromatic scale? Uh, uh, Faculty Jim. Uh, is it eight? Incorrect. Students, Joshua? Twelve. That's correct. Mm. The first Super Bowl was held in what U.S. city? Uh. Faculty Charlie. Green Bay. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? Uh. Students, St. Bill. Uh, St. Louis. Incorrect. The correct answer is Los Angeles. Canadian architect Arthur Erickson designed which notable US, UCI School of Biological Sciences building? Uh, Faculty Kyle. I'm going to go with Steinhaus Hall. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? Which notable UCI School of BioSci building? Uh, Students, Christina. Uh, the BioSci Library? Incorrect. The correct answer is McGaw Hall, BioSci 2. What are three major classifications for rocks? Uh, Students, uh, Christina. Uh, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Correct. Abraham Lincoln was a champion in which sport? Uh, Students, Joshua. Wrestling? Correct. What is the real name of Middlemarch Arthur? I'm sorry, Middlemarch March. <laughs> So many R's. What is the real name of students? Joshua. Mary Ann Evans. That's correct. Thank you for saving me on that. Typically made out of a light, strong cloth such as nylon. What is the name given to the device used to slow the motion of an object through an atmosphere? Thank you. Uh, uh, faculty Kaylin. Parachute. Correct. In Animal Crossing, what kind of animal is Tom Nook? Uh, students, Christina. A raccoon. 
Correct. In 1999, Dr. Dre and Suge Knight founded what West Coast based uh, record labels? Faculty Kyle. Death Row Records. Correct. What court case guaranteed the right to remain silent and to have legal? Uh, uh, Faculty Kyle. Miranda. Uh, Miranda. Well, it's the Miranda case. Do you need more than that? Uh, I'll Miranda accept Miranda. I can accept Miranda. Miranda. Okay. It's Miranda versus Arizona, but Miranda is an acceptable answer according okay. to these questions. Who made the 50 jewel-encrusted eggs presented to the Russian faculty? Kyle. Fabergé. Correct. What country was, in what country was Greenpeace founded in 1971? <sighs> faculty, Charlie. Germany? Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? <laughs> Students, Christina. Uh, England? Incorrect. The correct answer is Canada. Who made history as the first male to appear alone on the cover of Vogue in its 127-year history? <laughs> Faculty, Kaylin. Preston Kyle Stanford. Mm, I'm going <laughs> to say the same. It's true. It, it, it's, uh, incorrect, unfortunately. Uh, students, do you have a guess? The correct answer is Harry Styles. Mm. Where is the largest organism on earth located? <laughs> Faculty, Kyle. In Michigan. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? <laughs> students, Joshua. Australia. Incorrect. The correct answer is Oregon. It's a honey fungus. What does the acronym HTTP stand for? Uh, Faculty Jim. Uh, yeah, it's a <laughs> hypertext transfer protocol. Correct. The curse of the billy goat was supposedly placed on what major league baseball team in 1945? Uh, Faculty Kyle. And the Boston Red Sox. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? Uh, Students, Bill. The Black Sox. Incorrect. It's the Chicago Cubs, the other Chicago team. What is the architectural style of the Golden Gate Bridge? <laughs> Faculty, Kalen. Oh, I actually, I clicked in because Jim was giving me a private signal that he needed that one. <laughs> no, I was I nodding because I knew the last one. <laughs> Our answer is modernist. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? <laughs> Jo students, Joshua. Brutalist? Incorrect. Art Deco, but good guess. What day is also known as Freedom Day, Jubilee Day, Liberation Day, and Emancipation Day? <laughs> Faculty, Kyle. July 4th. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? <laughs> students, Joshua. June 15th? Incorrect. The correct answer is June 19th or Juneteenth. Where on UCI's campus can you find an Academy Award on display? Uh -huh. Faculty Kalen. The School of the Arts. Correct. What mm -hmm. famous literary character offers this sage advice? Neither a borrower nor faculty Kyle. Kyle, I need to an answer. Polonius. Correct. What element did Joseph Priestley discover in 1770? Uh, Faculty Kyle. Oxygen. Correct. How many pints are in a U.S. gallon? Uh, Faculty Kalen. Four. Incorrect. Students, mm. do you have a guess? Uh, uh, students, Bill. Eight. It does say eight here. Yes, speaking of the number eight. What was the nickname of Louis, King Louis the 14th of France? <laughs> Faculty, Charlie. The Sun King. Correct. Who painted the famous painting entitled The Scream of Nature, commonly known as The Scream? <laughs> Faculty, Jim. Varn Munch. Munch. Correct. Correct. What two actresses depicted Queen Elizabeth in the crown? The correct answer is Claire Foy and Olivia Coleman. What language joins Chinese, English, Russian, French, and Spanish as the sixth official language of students, Christina? Arabic. 
Correct. In which country is the source of the Amazon River located? <laughs> Faculty, Charlie. Peru. Correct. Right. What is the layer of the atmosphere closest to the Earth's surface? Uh, Students, Christina. Troposphere. Correct. How many days are in a fortnight? <laughs> Students, Joshua. 14. Correct. What legal arrangement is the hashtag free Britney movement fighting against? <laughs> Faculty Kyle. Uh, Britney Spears's conservatorship by her parent or by her father. Correct. Francis Ford Coppola's 1979 film Apocalypse Now is based on which novel okay. by Joseph <laughs> Faculty Jim? Uh, Heart of Darkness. Okay. Correct. What is the name? What is the name of the UCI alumna who wrote The Lovely Bones? <gasps> Faculty Kalen. Alice Siebel? That's, that that is correct, Faculty. I'm out, sorry, I'm suggesting to my... Good, that was good. I was like, it's Alice something. In I'm which, just saying yep. In which sport would you find a coxswain? <laughs> Faculty Jim. Uh, uh, Rowan. Rowan. That's Proof. correct. They're both correct. Name the Soviet cosmonaut who was the first human faculty, help Kyle. Help me, guys. Help me, guys. My team. Yuri Gagarin. That's Yuri correct. Yuri Gagarin. <laughs> what is the largest extant fish in the world? <laughs> faculty, Jim. Whale shark. Correct. Name the movie that includes this famous line, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it. Faculty, Charlie. Broadcast. Network. Network. It's network. Okay. Broadcast <laughs> is incorrect. Say it if we students, get it wrong. students, do you have a guess? <laughs> students, Bill? Network. <laughs> the network is correct. Um, we can talk about this after scorekeepers. How many black keys does the standard size piano have? <laughs> students, Christina. Um uh, I need an That's correct. What play by Tennessee Williams features characters named Big Daddy and Big Mama? <laughs> Faculty Kyle. I believe that is Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Correct. Which country houses the coldest national capital city? <laughs> you just need the country. Faculty Kyle. Iceland. Incorrect. Students, do you have a guess? <laughs> Students, Bill. Sweden. Incorrect. The correct answer is Mongolia. Hmm. Which 19th century American woman was accused of giving her father and stepmother 40 wax? <laughs> Faculty, Kaylin. Lizzie Borden. Correct. Hi. Gibson's most popular guitar is named Hi. after what? Oh, and that's time, everyone. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it's already over. Wow. Okay. Well done, as always. Oh, my goodness. Contestants, please give yourself a high five, a.k.a. a self round of applause. All right. Yes. Thank you, all the contestants from all three rounds. Thank you so much for your, your effort and uh, sharing your intelligence and your sense of humor with us tonight. Oh my goodness, we have truly enjoyed sharing, spending this evening with all of you. And while we are still all together waiting with bated breath for the score, there are actually a few people that we'd like to recognize. All right. So once again, starting with the contestants, this is a trivia contest and we would be nowhere without all of our wonderful trivia contestants. Um, so let's all take a minute to... Send them our well wishes in the chat. Think good thoughts for them. It is midterms time for both the students and the faculty. Thank you also to the audience for joining us at this event. Um, and so here's our faculty contestants. Here's our alumni contestants. Um, everyone just was really great sports in this whole thing. And once again, thank you to the audience for joining us and for making this event a success again this year. And we hope you had lots of fun in the chat and we hope to see you in person again soon. Um, 
the Battle of the Brain Student Committee has put in a lot of time, effort, and energy to ensure that this annual event continues to happen in this remote world that we're living in right now. Um, and I know it means so much to the audience, and I know it means so much to them as well. So thank you for coming to see all of the work that they've put into this event and for having a good time with us tonight. Um, we'd also like to recognize the contestants for competing in this event, showing off your talents and sharing your knowledge. We hope you'll join us again next year for another epic trivia battle. We'd like to also thank our alumni volunteers who shared their expertise and time. Um, and also for building the buzzer, joining us in the live chat, and just continuing to be awesome partners in keeping important campus-wide honors traditions going uh, throughout the years, especially this year. Um, and once again, thank you to the Battle of the Brains Committee, the student volunteers, and the honors staff who dedicated their time and effort into the event. Um, my script went away temporarily, so I'm going to take a moment right now to just announce uh, the, the winner um, of the event and to congratulate the winning team. And so our final score is students, 390, and faculty, uh, 650, faculty and alumni. So congratulations to the faculty and alumni team for winning it once again. Very well done. Although, of course, we're all winners here because it was just a really fun night. Um, and so just congratulations and round of applause again to the faculty and alumni. I'm going to put my party hat um, just, for, just for kicks. Um, and so congratulations on being victorious again this year. Um, students, of course, made a great showing, um, and hopefully we'll have better luck next year. Honestly, though, once again, we've all been here. We made it to the end, so congratulations for, for to all of us uh, for making it through this event. And we'd also like to recognize our student contestant, Jaime, as the student who answered the most questions and wins the Founders Award. Congratulations, Jaime. We're really proud of you. Thank you again to everyone. I'm looking forward to doing this all again next year, and I hope you have a great night. Bye. Yeah.